What's up everyone, welcome to War 3 against TCN. Before we go into it, there was no War 2 video because, quite frankly, on all accounts from the Alliance, it was a complete disaster um, and very deflated and I just couldn't be bothered to do a video. That being said, let's jump in. We've got a debut, sort of, for Kate Bishop. I say debut, she made a debut last war. Had a couple of good fights and a couple of shit ones. Uh, and then we've got Absman with Immortal Abomination for Synergy. Um, yeah, uh, scary war for me today in that it's four fights I've never taken before. We're taking uh, Chavez on path five and then path six in section two. We're going for Morbius. We're going for Werewolf Man and then Gladiator. So let's get into it. With Chavez, I took off Dex because I didn't want to put any risk into triggering Unstoppable while she's debuff immune after knockdown, um, as is the nature of the node. So we're just applying the Cold Snap pre-fight to make sure that sticks and getting back into the fight with a Power Start 1 boost. And it should be a nice easy fight. Um, being that I can't Dex, I'm not going to try and Dex her special one, so I'm just going to block everything. Uh, the Withers will stop her power gain, um, only while she's not debuff immune, so they're about to fall off. And I can safely punish her special one with the uh, spacing and blocking like so. So she's ticking down nice and quickly. A heavy in the corner to refresh the poisons. I forgot to dash back in here, so I started slightly further away. It's no big deal. A couple more seconds and she's going to be down. There we go. Nice, easy start. That allowed me to relax a little bit. And now we head to Mobius, Morbius sorry, in Section 2. Um, in my duels, Kate worked really well in that she could stun, evade stun him and get out of the way of his unblockable dash, etc, etc. But the fight just, I just failed. It seemed to fail it every single time and kept eating unblo unblockable da dashes whenever he was able to and made the fight a lot scarier than it needed to be. But a solo is a solo. And that's that. I'm sure there'll be a couple of guys that will enjoy watching this more than others. But thanks for watching anyway. Once again, we've got the uh, cryo arrow uh, pre-fight on. So yeah, uh, didn't go to plan to start with. I expected to be able to parry evade, uh, which just didn't work. Luckily, I went with invulnerability rather than power start one. And yeah, I actually had Dex back on for this fight, so I should have been able to get out of the way. Um, I say that, it's completely irrelevant because he's not throwing projectiles at me anyway. I just failed to get out of the way. And once again, luckily his bleeds are tiny and they only come into effect when he lands a big special on me like there. Um, Relic saved my ass, and I'm just looking forward to using lots of potions after this. Um, simple enough fight, I just made a hash of it. And Kate's really good. Uh, Werewolf is the fight I was a little bit more scared of. Um... Again, he's going to go debuff immune after knockdown. I just made sure to have Dex off again because I didn't want to trigger his unstoppable. Um, I practiced a lot in my duels with the spacing for his special one because it can be quite difficult to keep out of the way of. But did pretty well here. I just needed to make sure every time he dashed back, I needed to get in there and hit him to stop him howling and either going unblockable or unstoppable or gaining bars of power on whatever else he does with his bullshit um, but yeah so a strong start again using the cryo arrow now he's going to go debuff immune but he's going to have some big cold snap on him and yeah I can nice and safely keep out of the way of his special one just by keeping some distance at the start the other tactic is to block the first couple of hits of it but I'd rather not have to if I don't need to nice big crit there some more damage And now I can get him back to the corner, heavy him there, refresh the cold snaps and back away. 
Uh, that time I did get hit. Thank God for invulnerability. And life is going well. Life is going well. But we've got the fight done. Much cleaner than the Morbius fight. This was the one I was most scared of. And he's down, so pleased with that. And we can move on to our final fight of the war, which is against Gladiator. He's got Incinerate and Poison Hazards, which is why I needed Eye Bomb. We're going to go in with Magma Pre-Fight um, to be immune to the whole thing. Only thing is he's stun immune, but that's not a problem because his heavies are easy to get out of the way of and he doesn't go unstoppable or anything stupid with it. And it doesn't really matter what special I bait from him as long as it's not special 3. Uh, again, we go in with the power start 1. And it's a nice, easy fight. Uh, the hazards are going to keep my form paused the whole time, so there's no worry of that running out. I did just do a really stupid mistake here, which you'll see at some point. You'll see it when we get to it. But for now, we can get a big special 2 off. Get plenty of energy damage down on him. And then keep out of the way. So before refining my form, um, for some stupid reason, I'm not sure why, I think it was just reflex, I threw my special one, um, which lost my magma form and therefore made me no longer immune to incinerate, so I started taking damage and stopped placing the energy damage as well. Luckily the incinerates weren't going to kill me and we're now during poison phase so I can still avoid some damage and just get myself back to special 2 to get my form back and finish the fight off. Not really worried, it didn't put me in any danger as you can see, but yeah, it was just silly. Probably could have, it would have shaved a bit more off the time. And there we go, that's me done. Um, deathless, which is nice, unlike my last war. And we can look to get back on track. Unfortunately... TCN just very much outplayed us. We had a couple of silly deaths today, I think. And it's looking a bit bleak at the time of this. The score has progressed a little bit since this, but yeah, we're on for another loss. So that's three for three. And we get a day off now. I will see you back for War 4. Bye!